Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And today we have a cute little fun little another aggro deck for sure. Uh, two colors or three colors if you like to count it because it's all almost colorless pretty yeah. much, which is super fun. Uh, but before we get into it, go ahead and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us and we love you very much for it. And uh, with this deck, uh, we have a champion coming out and he he's 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 free from the ban gel pretty much yeah from the ban list and it's argon the tragic gargoyle and what he's doing he's commanding the great siege and that's what the name of the deck is because you're just throwing all these dudes and then a giant elephant comes in just like lord of the rings and starts crashing <laughs> it so it should be pretty fun so if you don't know what he does since he's been gone for a while uh you can exhaust him send the top two cards of your deck in the discard zone Probably won't be doing that much, but if you exhaust, pay one, but target unit from your discard zone on top of your deck. And that's why he's so powerful, because it's like, oh, that big creature you just took forever to kill, and then he's back on top on your turn. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get that dude back that you just dealt with. Yep. Thanks. And I'm going to draw him, and I'm going to play him, and then it's going to be fun, right? It's going to be fun for all of us. But there's graveyard hate now, so we'll see how this goes. And of course, the spirit uh, is Corona, the fire spirit. Once per turn, you can discard one fire unit from your hand and uh, deal 500 damage to a target unit. We only have one fire unit, but she's very, very useful, so that's why we have her. But, this is why we have it, is during your turn, Soul Burst. And Soul Burst is you flip this card face down and it loses all the abilities after that. Target unit gains Quickness, and then Quickness is that your dude can attack that turn when played. So, it's gonna happen. First creature of the deck yes. is Mutation 000 Zylac. And it is zero mana. And it's a zero. Damn, zero yeah, uh, power. Zero power. But it gets plus 500 for each different experiment you control. Yep. So unfortunately, if you have multiples of him, they don't really plus. Yep. They're just, they're just not. They're just there. Um, but if you have him and the other mutate or other uh, experience that we got, then he gets bigger. Oh yeah. But for a free dude, I'll take it. Yeah. Super free, dude. Like, you just, even if you have two or three in your starting hand, you're just like, well, plop them down. Yeah. Well, cool. tower, free dudes. The tower's going to be taken down for sure. The next one, of course, uh, while well, we we're talking about the graveyard hate, is Bone Scavenger. It's He is a one for a 1,000. Arrive. Expel target unit from discard zone. But then you pay one, expel unit from a discard zone, yours or theirs. And if you do, place a 500 counter on this card. We this card's gonna be probably in every deck we ever play because it's just too powerful and too good. Yeah, it's so good. Like it just it it doesn't it's not bad at any point in the game. No. Early game it's really good because you're like remove a dude, free dude gone, and then you can just give it bigger as you go. Yeah. Late game it's good because it's just a pay one ability. There's no tap, there's no exhaust, there's no Yeah. There's no extra thing other than just pay one. So you're like, cool, I'll pay for the bone scavenger, I'll pay eight. And give him eight five plus five hundred counters. Yeah, and as long as you remove a dude, you get a five hundred counter. Exactly. So super good. Yeah. So regardless of what turn you play him, he's gonna be a big powerhouse. He's just amazing. The next one, he's kind of a no bow, but he's super good at the early game. He's a one drop, raging shard beast. He's a two thousand uh, cards. You cannot play cards with uh, cost three or more, and we only have one of those, but it's still just a 2,000 for one <laughs> on turn one. Yeah, cool. I'll play this dude early and then just kill all your towers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next up is Shard Mecha Shiru. One minute for a 500 Guardian, and then Rune Trigger, search your deck for a Shard Mecha Buki, and add it to your hand. So he's there to help you discover the towers quickly and just to be a Guardian. Yeah, exactly. He's yep. a cheapo Guardian. A one drop Argent Guardian is exactly what uh, this is yeah. good for sure. And what you go get is the two drop 1000, the Shard Mecha Bugai. It has target attack, so it can you can swing into any creature you want. When this card attacks a unit or is blocked, this card gets plus, plus 500 this turn. So a, basically a 1500 that starts killing things. It has a rune trigger as well. You search for your Shard Mecha Tubasa, but we do not have that in the deck. Yeah. Um, but then we also have Master Ginzo. And he is two mana for a 500 unit. Exhaust, put target unit with cost one or less from a discard zone into play. Expel that unit when it leaves the field. So this dude's really strong in this deck because you have a lot of really good one drops. Mm -hmm. 
So if they kill a shard beast, you're like, cool, tap, bring that shard beast back. And you can't do anything about it because it's just, it's there again. Once it dies the second time though, it's gone forever. Oh wow. I, I thought it was from your hand, but from the discard zone. Yeah. That's, yeah, that so is super you just, good. You just exhaust him to recur a dude. Yeah. On their turn too, if you want. It's just, it's pretty disgusting because you get so much value out of it. And if you want, you can have instant speed guardian. So they just like, they're about to swing and then you're like, okay, well, in response, put a guardian from the graveyard to the field. Have fun with that. And then the guardian dies and you get, and you get, you get a dude. Yeah. It's so, pretty silly. Super awesome. All right. Of course, the next mutation here is a 002 Repo Bloom. Cost two, 1,000. He's also the, one of the strongest cards ever in the <laughs> game. When this card is targeted by a spell or ability, you may put it into two experiment unit tokens. Experiment Argent uh, 1,000. So this will trigger the uh, experiment of 000 and make him a 1,500 pretty much. Yeah, as long as he gets targeted, you you get to be a 1500 with the zero drop dude. And you just get dudes for no reason. So yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, next up is Ruka, the Pugilist of the Holy Flame. She has two for a 1000 red dude. And then Arrive, if you control another fire unit, this card deals gets plus 500 and gains Brawler. So the only fire units is her. Yeah. So unfortunately, you're probably not gonna get that a whole lot. But whenever this card attacks a unit, your spirit is fire you may flip it face up yep. so she's mainly there to give your corona the ability to soul burst multiple times just like this Let's turn you're gonna soul burst give the new dude swiftness or quickness yeah swing her unflip your, your champion dude again yep it gets pretty disgusting yeah it can especially with the combo of the great behemoth so it costs five but there's more it's a three thousand uh this card Costs one less to play for each unit you control with two or less. So that's pretty much all your whole deck right there. Yeah. Units you control with cost two or less get plus 1,000. And that's where we get super crazy. Because if you just like, you could possibly put this guy out on turn three or two. Just how quickly you can. And then you just start swinging in. And it'll be pretty hard for them to uh, match up after that. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying when your bomb card makes all your other cards bombs. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's exactly. pretty awful. I The only issue, though, is if you have a Raging Shard Beast, you can't play this dude. No, you cannot. You gotta make sure the Shard Beast dies before you can play him. Even though it makes him cost less, his main mana uh, cost is still five, no matter yeah. what. So, you cannot do that. But, it's okay. You just run a Shard Beast into something, and yeah, then yeah. exhaust that little Master Ginzo after you play this dude and get it back. Yeah, hopefully you're just like, I hit a Red Tower. Cool, kill this guy. Oh, great Behemoth. Thank you, bye. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Cool. It all, it all works out. And, uh, of course, we'll get into the spells. Is the first one is a Delayed Poison. It's an Augment. It's super powerful. One, one drop, equip to target unit. At the start of your next turn, destroy the equipped unit. And since they have not fixed the ruling on this, <laughs> When you equip an augment to their creature, they control it. So at their start of their turn, immediately it dies. Yeah. So that's just how that goes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> For it, sure. it's super silly. Yeah. Uh, next up is Ghostly Demise. It is two for a spell. As an additional cost to play this card, offering X, expel any number of units from your discard zone. Destroy all units with cost X. X equals the number of offerings. So. If you want to kill the board for four, you're just like, cool, remove four dudes. Kill yeah. the board for four. X equals the number of units. Uh, yeah, so that's good. So while your dudes cost little, there's are bigger, and then you just go ahead and win with that, for sure. Yeah, because it doesn't care about what cost of the unit is gone. It just cares about it as a unit. So yeah. if you just remember, you just go off the number of dudes that you expel. And if you're going against another Repo Bloom, then you can just pay zero. And then it kills all their tokens, pretty yeah. much, which is nice. All right, the next one is Omega Magic Yami. Instant cast, two drop. Uh, choose one, or if you have two or less towers remaining, you can choose both. Target unit gets minus 1,000. And then return target unit with co cost three or less from the discard zone to the field. So that, that's just how that works. Pretty much your entire deck gets to come back, except for Behemoth, yeah. but that's okay. Just for two mana. Great. Yeah. Uh, next up is Omega Magic Kasai. It is two for red instacast. Deal 1500 to target attacking or blocking unit. Then if you have two or less towers remaining, deal 2000 to target unit. Yep. Which is just any unit on the field. So they have to swing or block, which they probably hopefully will block and then you kill it. And then you kill another dude and you go in. 
Yeah. It's really powerful. Yeah, this sure. card can catch a lot of people really quickly. Oh, yeah. The next one is Molten Explosion. It's a two drop insta cast. Destroy target unit with 2,000 power or less. It's not the cost, it's just the power. So most guardians are 2,000 or less. So. Yeah. So you're just like, cool, get out of here. Yeah, done. Now, of course, we have the basic shards with Arjun uh, shards. And then, of course, we have Corona, the Spare Ruby, because it's the most powerful special sh legendary shard. So, of course, it has a stipulation. You can't have another legendary shard in the field at the same time, but you can exhaust to produce one, or you can exhaust, flip your spear face down, destroy target unit. And with uh, Ruka, to be able to kill a dude, swing Ruka into a dude, flip this to kill another dude. Yeah. It's just, uh, it gets there. Yeah, The since this legendary shard doesn't do anything itself to stop it from doing it again, as long as you unflip your uh, spear, you can do it multiple times, yeah. which is disgusting. Exactly. Just super good. Now, uh, we actually have, sometimes, most of the time, maybe, is uh, honorable mentions. And basically these are cards that are pretty powerful and they can use in sideboard or maybe in the main deck depending on your local meta and all that fun stuff and the first one we have is obsidian gargoyle the two drop 1000 he's saying what's up for sure <laughs> when this card is sent in the deck to your discard zone you may put it into play so this helps with ergon because you're able to you know exhaust and put things from the top in the discard zone and then this guy will come into play yeah. so we'll see Essentially, he's just a free 1,000 if you get it, but that's that's mainly his purpose. Yeah. And he's, he's a cheap dude that gets bigger. Yeah, exactly. And then next up is Trick. It is one mana for an insta-cast spell. Target unit loses all abilities until the, uh, this turn. Yeah. So, your Guardian, get out of my way. You lose Guardian, I don't care about that anymore. Yeah. Now I get to hit you for free. Your dude with a, a, a bunch of augments this <clears throat> turn, it's gone. All those augments are, are useless, null and void. Yeah, it's just, it's a good mana, it's a good one drop just to wipe your wipe your creature of all of its abilities. Yeah, yeah, it's super good and really, really fun. Especially when you're playing an aggro deck because you want to tempo out and take them out faster than anything. And one guardian can slow that down. So if you're just like, well, this dude loses guardian, take two more towers out, good luck. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, with that, that is, that is the Great Siege. It seems super fun. I can't wait until we play it in the bras for sure. And uh, the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year. And especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters. And that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.